Hello Geminis, this is Clarity1129. Welcome to your October 2021 monthly predictions. We'll start, uh, we'll follow our usual format and start with the Moonology deck. We'll take out one card for the overarching energy of the month. And what do you get? Take time to breathe out. Wow, this is the same as what Aries got. So you've been very busy this previous month and you've been asked to slow down and relax, all right? This month, we are going to use the Morgan Rear Tarot. Right, so we'll take out four cards, one each for your general outlook, your love and romance, career and finances, and finally for your spiritual growth. All right, so here we are. Wow, general outlook for the month is two of cups. What a beautiful card to get. For your love and romance, you get the two of pentacles. I wish we could just switch that. <laughs> For your career and finances, you get the five of wands, okay. And for your spiritual growth, you get the three of wands, okay. We're going to take out two cards from the tea leaf tarot to get further clarity on your general outlook for the month. Not an easy deck. All right, let's pick out two cards for you. Feeling tied down or frustrated, yoke, and fly, a period of ill health, depression. Oh, okay, why is that, Gemini? Well, this is the basic uh, part of your reading. We'll finish this before we take out an advice from Spirit from the Daily Crystal Inspiration, your angel answers and your other questions all right okay so you begin your month with this overarching energy telling you to take time to breathe out so you've been uh, in a hectic schedule perhaps in the um, in september the month gone by and you're being asked to take things slowly calm down a bit center yourself uh, this has been the uh, theme for the previous two readings also have done before this, especially Aries, which has got the same card as well. But uh, with this fly card here, which says a period of ill health or depression, what I feel is that uh, more than physically being active, maybe the last uh, month has been trying for you as far as your thinking is concerned. You know, you've been overthinking, overanalyzing, which is so true to all air signs and Gemini being an air sign, that's what you're being up to. And you're being asked to take it easy, all right? And the things are not so bad and to concentrate on yourself. Maybe you're reaching burnout because you're being, you know, bombarded with all kinds of information. Now, uh, Geminis, we know are the ones who love to read, love information coming in from all sides in all forms, but you're possibly reaching a burnout. You need to detox yourself from social media, from media, from, you know, all this extra information that's coming to you. Okay. And you need to just center yourself. And with that, you'll find that your health improves and whatever depression is coming, it's because of all this news that's coming into your life. You need to give yourself that quiet time. All right. And it's because of all this news that's coming and you, you're not, you might be feeling that you're not able to do anything as such and that's why you're feeling tied down or frustrated and that's causing this depression and you're being asked to just put everything aside and just concentrate on you do all those things that bring you happiness all right see the general outlook for the month is two of cups so this two of cups is a beautiful energy now if it was in your romance sector it would have been wonderful because it talks about soulmate you know um connections but when you get this as an overarching energy, you're being asked to, first of all, be one with yourself. All right. Uh, 
this to me uh, very strongly after looking the other cards what it tells me is that you need to balance your head and your heart be in union with yourself and for those people uh, who are in partnerships or who have got someone who's really close to them take their advice or take their counsel or even uh, if you don't want any advice such you just want to speak out whatever you have go and speak out to that one person you trust all right this is that uh, this time in october it's going to benefit you greatly all right you need that you need that assurance this month because you're going through so much uh, whatever has happened in the past month perhaps or before that uh, you've actually reached that point of, you know, 10 of wands energy. That's what I'm getting where you've really been pushed against the wall and you're just tired and exhausted mentally. And you just need to put all those burdens aside, share it with a friend, share it with your partner, share it with someone you trust. And more than anything, uh, balance out your mental and emotional as well, you know, uh, your head and your heart, heart, balance it together, center yourself. And it's going to really help you. Oh, one sip of water. So, for your love and romance, you get the two of pentacles, which says that you're weighing two options. So, those of you who are single, you may have a number of suitors, two or more, and you are weighing, uh, you know, your options. So, that's, an, a, great, that's a great place to be, isn't it? Uh, that you have so many people to uh, pick and choose from. So, choose wisely someone that makes you happy all right those who are already partnered up um, who are either freshly into a relationship uh, you're still deciding though you are in a relationship you still you know still feeling your way around in the connection and those who are already in a marriage or in a steady uh, commitment with this two of pentacles what i feel is that at this particular time there are a lot of on your hands all right maybe you're working and handling home and um you're not getting so much time to actually spend time with your partner because there are a lot of responsibilities that's what i get from this card so you're trying to balance everything out and that's why possibly you're again reaching um, burnout all right so uh, during this month also you're being asked to give yourself some time reprioritize everything so that you know you have uh, you get that time with your partner with this two of cups here uh, whatever you uh, see you know when you are in a relationship and especially if you're in a marriage and there are so many other responsibilities and then the, the, there is this connection of yours what happens is especially in a marriage you tend to give everything else priority except each other because you feel you're always going to be there. So you have to, you'd rather deal with other things. But at this time, when you're reaching that exhaustion and with this two of cups here, what you're being asked to do is to keep everything else on the back burner and give yourself and your partner that time. And that is going to heal both of you. Okay. And that's what you're being asked to do at this time. And for those singles out there and those who are freshly into a relationship, Take your time. Don't be in a hurry. If you feel uh, you need some more time, you know, to uh, know whether this is the right person for you, take your time. There's no hurry. All right. So you have to weigh all your options. And if you're already uh, began, began a relationship, there is, uh, see, finally, at the end of the day, you need to be happy. It's not only about making the other person happy. Both of you have to be equally happy. And it's all right that even if you enter a relationship, but if you feel it's not going okay, it's all right to step out of it, all right? There is no hard and fast rule that if you are in a relationship, now you have to just carry on, even though you're not happy in it. So if you realize that in the beginning, or you're taking your time to you know figure things out, that's absolutely fine. For your career and finances, you have the five of wands. Now, five of wands talks about having arguments or uh, fights so it could be that you get into um, arguments with someone in the place of work um, you know maybe Gemini is generally known to be very easygoing people but there is a limit for everybody so you you may be feeling that you've got a wrong deal and this month you're not going to take it lying low all right you're going to give it right back to whoever's um, upsetting you at this time 
okay so uh, either that that is a one a way of looking at it the second thing is that you are having this uh, two of pentacles or this battle in your head whether you want to carry on with this job or you want to do something else whether you want to do things in one way or you want to do things in another way so this is again another theme for your career and finances should you go this way or that all right uh, and this um, confusion or this fight could be within your head whether you should do it or not or it could be with those around you where you're putting your foot down and saying that this is it i want it this way i'm not going to compromise any more all right for your spiritual growth you get the beautiful three of wands the three of wands typically um, wands typically is waiting for something to come in now with this feeling tied down a frustrated card here I feel that you're waiting for some change to happen, my dear Gemini's. You feeling stuck and stagnated um, in your situation, all right? You want change. You want newness in your life. And I feel that you will be able to get this newness maybe while with um, by traveling and uh, maybe traveling with your partner, all right? Or if you can balance your own uh, self and you like, you're the kind of person who likes to travel alone, mm -hmm. travel will benefit you greatly. And, uh, you know, it will give you a lot of answers. It will also be a great way to take uh, a breather and center yourself. So this is as far as your general reading is concerned. Now, let me take out one card from the Daily Crystal Inspiration for you, my dear Gemini, so that you get an advice card from Spirit. You get unikite live in the now so yes you have been see this is all so beautiful the overarching energy you got was take time to breathe out all right here you get a further confirmation saying a period of ill health or depression which tells me that this take time to breathe out is about your head all right and again with unikite live in the now you're being asked to Forget about all that's happened. Detach yourself from it. Forget about worrying about the future, what is to happen. Just center yourself and live in the now. And I'm sure the first thing that's going to come into your mind is that, yeah, right, it's so easy to do that. It's not. But if you actually consciously do it, it's not all that difficult either. And it will set you free. This is what you need right now. So just take a bit of a detox away from social media, away from the news, away from a lot of thinking, get out of your head, get grounded, go out in nature some more. This is actually going to help you a, bit, um, a lot during this month of October. All right, as it is, Libra is an air sign, right? So October is a good month for Gemini's and Aquarius as well. So make most of it. Give yourself that time to, uh, you know, recuperate. r and is your need for this month, all right? Now, if there's a pressing question on your mind, dear Geminis, think about it, bring it out. And here is your answer from the angels, which says within the next few months. So it looks as you're waiting for something. We'll further confirm it with this. This is for the time specific question on your mind. If there is any, let's see which month it comes. So if you say within the next few months, as far as this question is concerned, the angel is saying you'll get it by December. Though timing actually doesn't work that way. And here you're being told January. Okay, that's pretty close. So whatever you're waiting for is going to come to you between December and January. That's not much of a wait. That's wonderful. And in which area are you going to see maximum changes this month, my dear Geminis? And you get success. So whatever it is that you're fighting for here, it's going to work out in your favor. And again... You, you may come into great collaboration, you know, with, since Two of Cups is the overarching energy. I mean, it's the uh, general outlook for the month. So it uh, may be that you get into collaboration with somebody and that brings uh, success. But either ways, you get your way here. All right. So live in the now and stop overthinking. 
all right so that's all i have for you my dear gemini's have a wonderful october 2021 give yourself that time to breathe out and get back into the, that beautiful uh, lovely gemini energy of yours all right so take a break from getting information so that you can soak up like a sponge uh, from the scorpio month of november all right so that's it take care bye bye catch you at the end of the month for the november predictions